Like October leaves fell the autumnal bees in a soft, steady rain of unjust miseries. Near to home, far afield, season after season, slain by a culture bereft of all reason. The sisters fell, lifeless, side by side, and alone, lost whispers of honey, their deaths unatoned. Dame Nature replied with her post of her own, summoning a new queen and hail the courtier drones to join the wild skies with passionate resolve, conjugating to die, having spawned the evolved. Gravid queen shall alight from her nuptial blind, now immune to the blight which hath cut down her kind. Far afield of the patch, past the pumpkins and corn, loom the beckoning woods where the land changes form and a green deep ravine carves its serpentine way, fringed like fine sundered lace at this sweet time of day. Here the hive now abides, having shaped a great comb in an old broken oak, its lost heart their home. Within, busily they thrive, round the throne of their queen, sisters tending new young, quivering wings all sheen, midst rosy royal jelly filling tiny tureens. Thus thrives the hive in that deep green ravine where the towering comb and the great broken oak now gives rise to the hive, swarming forth like fine smoke. Something in the land, the stones, trees, and shadows, the umbrage of pan midst inedible meadows, has ways of casting its own counter spell upon this old fold of ground, this odd tucked away dell, where the path wandering by yon long warm brink of trees blooms beguilingly so, full of sweet scent and bees. comes alive in a way one might say that may seem serene as they gather their sway. Yet their hovering buzz is no pollen for it. The hive has a taste for revenge in their way. Undistracted by bountiful bouquet buffets, this insect armada seeks out other prey. Remote stream of asphalt with slim gravel shores flows by with a hive likes to settle old scores. Entering their territory, where wild crowds upon shorn, has made some trespassers 
curse the day they were born. And the callous intruder, by chance, happening by, is far less than welcome, though he may not know why. Hive scouts seldom trouble to search far or wide to seek satisfaction via homicide. Happenstance truckler spreads blight like a rake, unconcerned for the wounding he leaves in his wake. But it just so happens, it won't be too long at all, ere this hired blighter wished he worked in a mall. He's chanced on a back road to cheat time, but he'll find the hive has its own endless shortcut in mind. Justice will be served eventually. And so too, when tis so, there'll be nowhere to flee. Tiny sisters inflict Lilliputian heckling. Shield maidens so small. One thing sure though, Face <laughs> Locals here, all their lives, find themselves long resigned to the odd accident. The wrong place, the wrong time. And it is best to know when to get out of the way. Of forces deep nature will not keep at bay. <laughs> Coup de gras. Some requite for victims untold. Revenge isn't always a dish best served cold. <laughs> Collateral damage may sometimes come one's way. That day one finds oneself caught in the fray. Even so could be offered when bedlam befalls. <laughs> Any retribution from which one can crawl. Hives vengeance foils their foes' killing ways. Preemptive strikes vanquish the sprays and praise. Yet nature is no refuge for those she despises. There's no place to run and no compromises. Ironic when one who slays Pan for a fee bolts for protection amidst leaf and tree. But within those same wilds, he would e'er slay for pay. He'll confirm that it's not really his lucky day. He's terminally by for the sweet wild by. Once the hive closes round, his demise is well Slow to avoid the hive's swarming embrace, may be weirdly bearded whilst yet the pace. And woe unto him, hitherto having gleaned no bloody idea of the wrath that convenes. Things look bleak for this pest, but at least. There's no doubt. <laughs> he hasn't mosquitoes to worry about. Soon encased in the hive's seething porcupine cloud, he's undone in their quivering devouring shroud. By muscle and marrow, nerve, sinew, and skin, the hive is revived when they do people in.
not too far afield from an old odd pumpkin patch where pan's wild itches dame nature will scratch the hive is alive will it soon waft your way will you become surrounded by a swarm you can't slay buzzing tickles the air Near the hand, near the hair. Soon where one once saw one, now a thousand are there. Warmly, swarmly, back home to fill tiny dreams. In that vast broken oak where the hive yet convenes. Dancing tales of fresh food for the queen's colony as they teach their new young about the birds and the bees. Some hives want your soul. Some hives want your money. This hive wants to make you. <laughs> their sanguine-esque honey. <laughs> <laughs> 